Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Dr. Siva's vlog. This is Dr. Siva here. In this video, we are going to see about corporate social responsibility. The topics in this unit we will cover are definition of corporate social responsibility, types of CSR, examples of CSR and benefits of CSR. Now what is CSR? CSR is nothing but it's a commitment of a corporate companies to manage the social, environmental and economic effects of its operation in a responsible manner in a way with the expectations of the public. Actually the objective is to serve the public and socially responsible. So as I mentioned, the three areas they need to take care in terms of corporate social responsibility. One is a society, the company's product should be which is beneficial to the society and improve the quality of their work, employees, environment, environment protection through safe disposal of waste without or minimum pollution of land, air and water and also the economic aspects. They need to get the profit for the company through ethical practices. Now the types of CSR, philanthropy, volunteerism, participating in fair trade and uh, environmental conservation. So we see with examples each and every types. Philanthropy is like the company is uh, donating money to the society or the community in which it operates its business. It can be in the form of cash or any other way the resources they give to help the community. Classic example is Walmart, they are giving their food trucks and logistics expertise to help coordinate the charity needs. The second one is volunteerism. Uh, volunteerism is nothing but the employees of the company, they make free time or after office hours, they go and volunteer in places like schools. If the, uh, in some schools, they don't have like, uh, uh, say, uh, physical education, education trainer. So they can help the students to in sports or they can plant trees. Amul, a dairy product company from India, they are planting saplings across Gujarat, thousands of them to celebrate India's Independence Day. The next one is participating fair trade. Fair trade is an arrangement to help the producers, especially farmers in developing countries to get a stable income and protect them from their fluctuating market prices. Several chocolate companies are doing this. Uh, the thing is that most of the cocoa for the chocolate is grown in West Africa where the laborers are having a sh shortage. So in order to overcome this, the World Cocoa Foundation along with the Fairtrade Foundation works to ensure that they are done properly and the interest of the farmers are protected and no children are employed. The next one is environmental conservation. Environmental conservation is nothing but saving our only home called earth. So companies are doing this and uh, enhancing their image among the public or community. This green initiatives like telecommuting, reduced packaging, using fluorescent bulbs and switching off the computers and aircon when not, not in use will not only reduce the energy and reduce the cost of protection and operation, it will also enhance the image of the com company among the public. Reducing carbon footprints. 
Now business is opting to travel less by using conference software programs such as Zoom, Skype. This way they can reduce emissions from air and road travel. By buying raw materials and food supplies from the local farmers and reduce reuse and recycling office supplies, stationeries and office equipments also help in reducing the carbon footprints. Company by embracing CSR practices will enhance their image in the public's mind. So this will help in the increase of their sales as most consumers nowadays are happy to buy their products from a socially responsible companies and because of the energy conservation and other initiatives the cost of production and the cost of operation will go down so this will lead to reduced cost so these csr practices will also give the company and competitive advantage over their competitors in the industry so this in turn will increase their brand recognition employees moral also will be improving why because all the employees will like to work in a company which are really concerned about the society or the community so this csr practices will also attract the best to workforce from the industry and will help them to retain. to sum up csr is a company's commitment to manage the social environmental and economic effects of its operation responsibly and in line with the public expectations the objective of csr is to give back to the public or to the community the types of csr are philanthropy volunteerism environmental conservation and fair trade business by embracing csr can enhance the brand image increase sales reduce cost give competitive advantage and boost employee morale